This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV and Association of MTK Global. We're in Belfast here for the homecoming press conference on the build. Delighted to be joined by Declan Garrity and also John O'Carroll. Weird to see you two sitting next to each other. I don't think anyone was expecting to sit, both of us to sit here and have an interview together, but like that. Definitely not. The pay paychecks must be good this time. Let's let's just let's just take this back to 2014. What what do you two remember about the the lead up to that round, uh, to that fight? Because to think of it now, to think that that fight was only a four round, is the maddest thing about that fight. The, no, the maddest thing about it wasn't her, uh, televised. That's why I, 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 and I, that I as well. Yeah. That's why I mostly regret about it. It wasn't televised because oh, yeah, Paul was going to be televised. Pe people have I was talking about a flower and I got. Did you get gloved up early? I was gloved up for fucking hours. I was gloved up for fucking hours and in the change room. And it was get, even after 50s, it was like, I'm getting cold and going in. So you're warm back up then. You're like, no, nah, match was going in. I was like, when Spike, when Spike won, I thought I was in straight away. I was ready to go then. Same, so. Warm up, warm down, warm, warm down. It was but it's more of a horrible. news than not just being televised, really, you know what I mean? Because you're looking back, people have footage, but it's on the camera. It's on the phone, and it's just not the same, you know what I mean? It's brutal, you can't see it. That's Damn, probably the worst thing about it. That was four years ago as well. So it's a long time the ago. The difference is where we came now. No one's gonna fucking float, float now. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not kids no more. We're not playing boxing. This is chief support, isn't it? Shouldn't I'm sure, isn't it? The chief support of Michael's homecoming, which is a, it's a big bill. You know what I mean? But what do you two remember about the build up to that fight? It wasn't how it wasn't how look build up. So it was a uh, press conference and the press conference on a Wednesday and uh, Wayne on the Friday or something like that. Oh, well, you thought the build up was brilliant because Dego stayed over in Spain the first time we looked on the press yeah. conference and it was crap because I actually wanted to come, I wanted to come home with it for the boat, so, so just turned around and said there's no point to come home for it. Which even though the last time we had a fight got confirmed. We actually went up to Belfast because I thought it was going to be a bit of a press conference, but you weren't there. And yeah, I, didn't, I didn't, get, didn't get announced either until a few oh. days later. It was ridiculous. But, least, he told me about the fight, you know, he was expecting to get a fight all over that. So at least this is, at least this is we're getting the, the justice it deserves, I should say. You two, obviously, a lot of it has come on IFL, the, the kind of the back and forth interviews over the last few more so over the last sort of year or so, especially a few months ago when you were meant to fight each other. And it wasn't even built up properly then, Kevin. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It didn't get enough. It didn't get enough attention. Should have gotten. But at the end of the day, we're in this sport to get the exposure we want. You know, we deserve this exposure we get because of the the training we do, the fight, the, the fight you're in. Like, so we deserve it, and it's good that we're getting the recognition it deserves this time around. John, where where do you see that since 2014? How would you assess the way Declan's career has gone? In your opinion, honest opinion. Honest opinion. Declan hasn't, in my honest opinion, I don't think he's fought um, really high high caliber opponents, even though he has a, a good few fights. He hasn't been tested. Because see, the thing is with Deco, he can box. And if <clears throat> if you're not in with someone, like for instance, his last fight was a boxer. A boxer can beat a boxer if you're, if you're that technically a little bit better, right? He hasn't been in with someone who's rough and to rough him up, like you said in the press conference there earlier. It was dirty on both, both ways. <clears throat> we roughed each other up. I knew what he had to do to win that last fight. I knew that was the way to win it. I, I couldn't stand in there and start throwing jabs and waiting on the outside. That shit wasn't going to work. So, I is think... It gonna, what, what, is it going to work this time? Well, I'm a different fighter this time. Yeah, that's true. I'm a Maybe totally that. different fighter this time. I, I, I think Deco is um, he's technically good, but like there's, there's certain things that I see that I can expose. And I'm sure he sees the exact same in me. But I, don't, I, don't, I, <clears throat> I think he, he's definitely been able to do the rounds a little bit more. So... In my opinion, he's definitely taking the career a little bit more serious. He's training hard, you know. He's had a good. He's come off a really good win the last fight. Um, I think the team has given him the best possible chance. He can. He got a warm fight, then he got the fight at Southport and the ten rounds to make sure he can do them rounds comfortably. Because, it's, in my opinion, the, the ten rounds done before that, your man was wasn't up to much. Scottish fellow, I didn't even see the fight, but I got told your man wasn't up to much. It was it was a real cagey fight. Just stood there, didn't work hard. Very much the same last time. It was a good win for him. But boxers can be boxers handy enough. Look, this is a great jail. This is why I wanted this fight for so long because this is a fight on a boxer. So this is who can make that game plan work, who can expose each other, who can make things happen, you know what I mean? Like, 
Everton's all about controlling the pace, controlling certain little things in there. So there's certain things I do. He hasn't fought people like me. You know what I mean? He hasn't. He hasn't been tested too hard because the good wins he's had been off boxers. They haven't been pressure fighters or anything like that. And then the one time when he, when he did get dropped and he got spiked that time in that fight, he was a pressure fighter, but he wasn't a fast fighter. He wasn't he wasn't too pressuring. He was just walking forward. I, I genuinely think he just he knew he wasn't going to win the first two three rounds, and he waited for that one shot. I think his chance was to, to knock that guy out. That's all in his head was. So I don't even think he wanted to win the fucking the rounds. Because me and Deco, it's like, can you walk, can you fight? We, we want to see what each other are made of. I want to see what he's made of. When I put pressure on him. When I'm even boxing. There's things even in that last fight when I box him a little bit. But, and it's shit footage, like you said earlier. It was a camera footage. I remember there's one time, and he thrown like two or three shots, and I slipped him nicely. But I wasn't, I wasn't, I couldn't do the things that I can do now, back then. But I still slipped them nicely. So I want to I actually see, can I box on my stages? Can I fight? Can I, I want to see what I can do in there. I want to see what I'm capable of. And that's why I'm in this spot. In the press conference, he was very critical of what you don't do. Mm -hmm. Even questioned, is there anything you, you do do, yeah. for example. Um, what, 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 did you, what do you say to that? John was talk shit, you know what I mean? You do, you know he's talk shit, but I talk shit as well. But I, I came up to this press conference now and I wasn't going to talk much shit because all I wanted was the fight to be made. I know I'm, I'm ecstatic to have the fight to be made. The reason why, similar to what he says, he wants to see how good he can be. He knows I can bring the best out of him, he can bring the best out of me. So that's what's good about this, you know what I mean? I said I couldn't hate a man who's doing the same sport to me. How could he? At the end of the day, he has a young family. His, his, his dream is to become a world champion, and that's the same as mine. A lot of people thought, right? Why people wanted this fight so much as well? Not only that, I had a fight here, there was a lot of back and forth, talk and talk and show you. But every time we've met each other, we have been respectful to each other, without a shadow of a doubt. But we've still talked shit and he's talked shit, and that's why people wanted it so much. But the fight's made for me, so there was no show to be need to be talked. Like I said, this is not an emotional thing to me, this is a business to me. There's no egos here, all there is is business. At the end of the day, he has a job to do, I have a job to do. But I, have, I will say something. Who would you say is the best fellow I fought? But so obviously I'm gonna say myself since 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 I turned pro. Quickly. Okay. You've done a great job on that. Yeah. And, you well, get, and he texts me and I said thank you very much. It's actually not quickly. I boxed a fella in Scotland. I boxed a fella in uh, Liverpool, Southport, similar to Jono. He fought Tigo Martinez the fight after me and then got a split decision against a Russian fella who Lee Selby took his world title off. But he's the best is that fella. The same fellow I fought. No, you never fought. He was a tough geezer. This fella. Is. What do you think I fought him? Nah, I did not. I've looked at his records since before and after. I've looked at it and he, by fair, he's very similar to John. Look at little ultra bunny there. He just always, always there, always there. Self powers well, there, always in our face. I fought him on Liam Smith on the card. And by fair, that's the fella, best fella I fought, and I believe John hasn't fought anyone better than him. Yeah. He, John B. Who was the fella being the prize for one of the Europeans? Stephen Foster. Foster. Great to get a scalp off him, but this fella I fought is the best that I've between who I fought and between who he's fought so far, so... Stephen Foster wasn't even the best fighter in there. I believe Gary Buckland was definitely the was best fighter in there. Gary Buckland could bang, he didn't look, he didn't look it. I remember looking at him thinking he's flat. Did Michael Devine your other opponent? Michael Devine was yeah. the final, yeah, but like, at that stage my hand was smashed up. Like, I tore ligaments in the deck of weight. And I got, obviously, stitches and everything else. So we went into that with no preparation. I was in the dressing room and I was doing pads and we were passing. And I couldn't hit it backhand. I said, pass it my hand. Bollocks still from that fight. Like, he was like, are you sure you are ready to go into this? Yeah, of course I am. Fuck it. Like, these opportunities come, you need to take them with both hands. Well, fighters we are, and that's a joke. People give people a stick, and I've always said it, I've been loud about saying on social media, but people call other people bums. There's some cheat they call people bums at the end of the day. You know, and Kieran, I'm sure you've seen a lot of boxers do it. The, the time, the effort, the, 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 the heart they have to put in, into this sport alone, and it takes a lot of balls to get into that ring, you know what I mean? I'm front of thousands of people as well. So, for people calling people bums, it's, it's ridiculous, you know what I mean? What do you think Decker has been humbled from his career, from getting spiked that time, I think it was the best he's been. He's been humbled since that fight. No, before that fight. No, I was sweet with tennis and you, 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 you were respectful with that fight. Do you know before what? that, you would have been... When you were fighting me, you would have been the first person to call someone a bum. Is that the truth or not? Well, I don't know. You call me slowly, but, but if I call you a bum, I apologise. Oh, I don't know if call me a bum, but you, but called, you said a I lot said of things. I, I could still say a lot of things about people, but the thing is, 
<laughs> but really, look, do you know what it is? People have a perception about me. People think I have an ego about me. When they get to know me, and I'm sure you met me when we sat down and talked. Yeah. It was just sweet talking. Was it just? I'm just a normal geezer like anyone else. You know what I mean? I'm just. Like, there's no difference between me, fucking, even on the undercard, if someone was taking, making a pro day, but there's no difference between us, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like I said, you couldn't knock anyone for But that's why, I, that's why I make that comment that I think he's been humbled a lot with his career, because um, he was saying before my fight, he's European level. I'm not Irish level, far from Irish title level, yeah, got So he was saying before that, I, I'm European level, just before like, my fight, so he's only had five, six fights, whatever. And he was, he was the one saying, but, but you, but you so know you yourself, have been humbled but, but in this but you career. Know, but Professional you know, boxing is a different sport. Ah, uh, whatever, Dale, whatever, shout out, Dale. 100 million percent. But you know yourself, trash talk gets you, get you more known than anything else. Definitely And that's does. what you've been doing, so that's what I did as a pro, but then I realised, I've taught my management team sit down, they were like, you don't really need to do it, and I kind of switch on, I don't need to do it to get out there, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, if I turned there, we went face to face, and I pushed him, and we went for it. Even if it was just stage, it would it'd get, it'd go forward because of that's what people want to see. But I don't, like I said, I don't need to do that now. I have to fight what I want to be made. There's no reason to talk shit. It's that I'm happy. Like, I'm really happy. I'm happy with myself. I'm happy with my boxing the way it's gone. I'm, I'm really looking forward. Like, I'm excited to look forward to it. And I'm not taking nothing about him. I'm sure he's looking. He's excited about it as well. You know what I mean? But this is what I was saying. The same messing, joking, but he's right in what he's saying. I, I had the belt and I was saying, well, crack him with the belt, make it a WWE. People want to be entertained. And people want to, want to like, see that sort of I, shit. I, I'm more sure people are going to be wounded and annoyed that we're sitting here and having an interview together. Because at the end of the day, I know it, I, we'd sell a lot more tickets, we'd start going at each other. And that's a shout out there. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to knock a man who. But at the end of the day, I want to go and punch the head off him. And I told you that. And I'm not going to lie that. And he wants the same, you know what I mean? And I'm going to leave it all in the ring, but I still don't need to be a prick about it, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm respectful for any man that does this sport, so I get what he's saying there. But there was loads of things in the force build up that I deliberately said to get under his skin because I knew the type of personality that I had, and I knew he had a big ego at that stage. So I knew how to get under his his skin. It was very easy, and I knew how to draw him into a fight. Well, and that's exactly what I we'll switched on now because even the last fight you tried to get underneath his skin, but it was on the ball and it would go with the John Quigley. At the end of the day, you were saying John Quigley is better boxer than me, and that that was the truth. To knock me back and to get me the boy but I'm too switched on now, I'm grown and matured as a man. There's a lot of things he says where I'm on the ball from now. I'm on the ball from his career because it's a professional. I'm on the ball from it's it's not that you're on the ball, it's I think you've been humbled. So yeah, you've grown as a person. I've grown as a man. We've all grown as a man. Four grown years ago, you can't look at us and say we're the same people that we were four years ago. Listen, I was a cocky young kid. I'm still cocky and confident in my ability, without a shadow of I believe I can win a world title. But I still i still go the right way about instead of the wrong way about now. Let, let, me, let me ask you, in the press conference... Um, I'm more surprised there's more... Like, I'm sure people are going to be more surprised there's more niggle between Tyrone and Phil, for folks' sake. I know, they're coming after this. They're coming after this. In the press conference, when you were talking about the fight that was meant to take place, the rematch last year, you made a suggestion that the injury was... Because you used the kind of injury air quotes. So is that, is that something that... You dispute whether Declan was actually injured or not, or not. I oh, he's very he active. Oh, he's very active. We oh. do know. He knows that my hand was injured, but he wants me to bite her, and I, and I know he wants me to bite her. That's not that. That's a lawyer. Okay, to God, that, okay. That's a lawyer. Right? Okay. When I said that, I had proof. I can't say exactly what it is, but I know someone who works in that hospital where he went, and that's all I'm saying about it. I can't say it because they could lose their job, obviously. It's confidential. Someone rang me and said, you still find that thing, fella? I was like, yeah. And he's, he or she said, I don't know about that. He's been in here complaining about his hand. He was like, we done x-rays, we done everything on it. Is that the truth? Did they send you home saying, rest it for a week? No, I had to go, go back at it. I had to get an injection into it. After, the, after two weeks or something, I seen he got an injection. I, I seen him go, go about that. But when you went to the hospital, when you went to the hospital, did they send you home? Course, it was yeah, right. Every hospital sent you home. I every didn't hospital. Need an if you if I you didn't need, if you were what, injured, you would you, the doctor or if anyone uh, is gonna warn you not to okay. fight. They will be the first ones to warn you not to fight. Let's me say my piece. Uh, same thing with Phil sort of, It was something with Phil's tendons. My tendons was on my hand was slipping. And I was told if I keep boxing with it, it could slip and snap and that could be the end of your career. The tendons were moving off the knuckle and that's what happened. So I took. Boys, listen, I killed. Listen, you really said I don't want to fight you. Because I know you, do you know what I mean? So do you really think I want to pull out a fight? I know you. I, I, know. I said to everyone that you were going to play out a fight, just for the simple fact that you weren't living the life back then. You have been since that fight. 
you have been since that fight didn't happen and now I believe that the team has given him the best option possible. They've given him a wild fight, they've given him a, a 10 round to make sure he can do them rounds good, with quickly, which is a, a good, durable opponent. Mm -hmm. And uh, Southpaw as well, I haven't got a fight this year. Yeah, I, I, understand. I, I think they've given him the best because, well, I, I, in my honest opinion, I think if we had a fought that time when he pulled out, I would have rolled over him. Now I think he has a much better chance but, because he wasn't living the life. But look, uh, you were meant to fight as well. It was unfortunate. It was unfortunate. So you can't say that. 100%. You know, no, I'm not saying, it's just the, way not saying things, just the way things fall out, you know? No, definitely. I'm not saying about the team because I was meant to have to like, fight. Like, but I mean, the, look, the fact that he got the sale call and everything. But look how lucky you are that I pulled out. You got a journey, man, for the, the, the uh, IBF or the thing, you know what I mean? Journey, man. How much is great? 14 and 1. 14 and 4 with a featherweight, you know what I mean? Featherweight? Many featherweights do you for? I didn't say he was a featherweight. He was a featherweight. He fought a Because I was, I was Monday had no opponent mm. because they got pulled out so I didn't know who was going to fight yeah, but a little Mexican Mexicans are tough as fuck ah, you, can, yeah, you, can, you can give a Mexican with bleeding all losses and he can be tough yeah. as fuck he's never been stopped like what's his name uh, for him yeah. my mate um, in Australia fucking TJ boxer. no not no. TJ um, oh, what's his fucking name but anyway I, I think of his name now a second. he fought him and done 10 rounds he was in the Olympics and everything else okay. that fellow was a very good fighter um, Luke Jackson Luke Jackson fought him and went 10 rounds with him. So he was a durable man. Luke Jackson is a strong fighter. He has loads of blade in WBOs and this and the other. He's highly ranked. He wants to fight Valdez next. And he done 10 rounds with him. So just because I blast him out there, I got a cut three weeks before that fight. So I knew going into that, I need to blast him out because this is going to get stopped on the bleeding cuts. And what you know, the cuts open straight away. So I knew for a fact going into that fight, this needs to be stopped. I'm going to have my mind set on something like that. There was, no, there was no going back, you know what I mean? Going into that fight, I knew I had to stop him straight away because them cuts were going to open. I got, I got six stitches. And I was meant to fight Deckham on that, on that card. I didn't, I didn't pull out, I got the stitches. And it is what it is. Like we say, with boxers, we, we go into fights plenty of times. I don't know one boxer who doesn't bleed and go into a fight without a niggle or a little injury. We don't speak about them because there's no point. People don't want to hear excuses. We just want to see a fucking entertaining fight. That's true. So I went into that fight, whether I was going to fight Deckham, I didn't know he pulled out the stage. I, I got the stitches. And it was like two or three days after that, I got the phone call. And uh, when I got the phone call, I knew because I got the phone call two days before that of someone saying he's looking to pull out of that for you, he doesn't want it. That source. Your response to that? Listen, I have the proof there that I mean, the, listen, there's no point going on about it, it's in the past yeah, it's now. The past. It's in the past, but past. listen, I want, uh, listen, I've been crying out for the fight for a long time because I want to do my wrongs right. Really. Which anyone would want to do, and I believe I can do it. So that's why I wanted to fight so much. The reason I pulled out of the fight because I had to pull out, I couldn't spare. But like I said, it's, it's in the past, it's probably in the past. At the end of the day, we have a fight in nine weeks' time, and I can't fucking wait. And I'm sure he's the same. And hopefully, I believe it's going to live up to it. It's going to live up to what it should live up to. At the very start, Dego texted me the next day after that fight happened the first time, and I told him I'd give him a rematch. And I've never, I've never once said no to a fight. I've always accepted them, asked anyone, asked any team. I said, yeah, every single time. I jumped at the opportunity to do it. And I was annoying, I got the phone call yesterday. And I, yeah, I, I, got, I, got, I got one you know in Thailand. I started training out of Thailand. So, so to me, to me, it was like... A real my holiday. Because the minute I, want, I just stopped going out in the sun, I was just trying, I ended up staying and just trying. And she was giving out to me, saying, saying, hey, I come now, you know what I mean? They're trying to give him the best possible chance to win this fight. And I don't blame them, because Everyone wants to see an entertainer for you. Let's say I go out there and spark that going around. That's brutal. No one wants to see that. Well, some people obviously do want to see that. But our team wants a massive fight and wants it to be very entertaining. And I want it to be that as well. I love these type of fights. Because no one wants to fight you, Johnny Man. But well, if we no, get a call for a Johnny Man, I'm devastated. Yeah, I course, don't want to fight you, Johnny Man. You don't get hype, but at the end of it, it's the build up to it. It's the build up, the whole lot. This is what boxers do for, you know what I mean? The hype of it. I, I'm excited. I was excited when I watched the Phantom Bill uh, two weeks ago. I was just excited, like looking at the boys going in. So I'd love to be there, you know what I mean? So that's the chance I'm getting now in uh, a few weeks' time. I oh, look gas, don't they? <laughs> they do look funny, yeah. Watch one of my moonwalks, little town falls on. That looks funny as fuck it does. A few, a few months ago, obviously, when around the time you two were meant to fight, things seemed to get very kind of personal uh, on social media. Has that all stopped now? It's the simple fact that I had to leave my family to go train in the camp. I wasn't happy to go leave the family and then not for it not to happen. So like he said, I had to go to Scotland. So I had to. So for me, 
I was at leaving the family for weeks on end. Didn't see bleeding the baby, doing certain few little things that she was only starting to do, you know. You don't want to miss time with your family. That, that things that you can't ever get back. You know what I mean? Money comes and goes, fights come and go, whatever. But you can't get time back with your family like that. And I went and, and wasted a couple of weeks away for a fight that then didn't happen. And then, like you said, a joint man. I, I don't think he was a joint man. I don't care what he was. But it wasn't, it wasn't hyped up. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't a fight that I wanted. It wasn't a fight that I left my family to train for. That didn't happen. So that's where I got personal. That's where I was annoyed. And to me, I will go on this fight, but to me, that's the only thing that can get personal is when the family gets involved. Listen, there's no, it's, it's, it's not personal because it's a business to me. I never, I've met his missus and she's a lovely woman, so I've no, nothing bad to say. I don't hate this man, I just want to beat this man. And that's it, and yeah. he's the same. Like, I don't hate, hate the man. I'm sure he wants to beat me, but. All right, well, listen, before we get. Hold on! We'll be wrapped in one minute. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> finally then. That they ripping a hole in the back of your bombs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> finally, what happens June 30th? Declan first. Listen, I hope there's an entertaining for you. I believe I'm going to win. 100% I hope it lives up to the crowd. But I hope the whole build is just a, a fantastic build. I believe I'm going to do the job. And uh, I'll move on to bigger and better things. John? I'm hoping it's a very exciting fight for maybe four rounds and then I clip him on the chin and stop it. That would be my perfect night. That'd be great. But I have to give the crowd something, you know what I mean? So give them five or six rounds, make it as exciting as possible, and then clip one chin. That'd be my perfect night. All right. Okay. Declan Garrity, John O'Carroll, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And um, listen, we we'll look forward to June the 30th and uh, see what happens. So, <laughs> you going to have a hug or? I'll have a handshake. Have a handshake. Have a handshake. Come, you know what I mean? <laughs>